Much from my junior days, I was surrounded by a lot of editorial styling. I grew up in sort of an editorial type salon, and so there was always photography. There were always filming and bits and pieces, TV. But I did have, you know, a thing that sort of drew me to doing something different with hair, and also seeing how far I could push the cusp of where hairdressing sort of starts and ends. Every time I make a wig. It, it makes me a better hairdresser. Every time I cut a head of hair, it makes me a better wig maker. I will be working on the wigs from the moment I get here till the moment I pull the shutter on the front door at night. As far as hairdressers go, I've always looked towards Robert Labretta. I really do like what he does and what he's done throughout his entire career. But I do look at, at other elements, you know, artists are, are a huge inspiration, architecture. I'm walking everywhere with my eyes open. You know, seeing what I find. You know, it'll be 8.30 in the morning, I'm on my way to work and I'm climbing through a skip bin in a suit. It it's really is quite a lot of fun. The most challenging to make, I, I think, would have to be the one made out of paper planes. It's one of two made out of paper planes. This one's sort of more like about 8,000 planes. They fit onto a 10p piece. They're absolutely tiny. And they all have to be folded in with a pair of needle nose pliers because they're too small to actually get your fingers into. And so it's a really, really long process. But then you have the challenges of other ones, like these couple of pieces which are made out of glass. You know, cutting glass is a challenge and a challenge which I was unable to do when I started it. I'm working on one out of aluminium cans at the moment. It takes about a day to sort of make up a space of about that big as they're all pinned together. And you'd probably, I don't know, have maybe 150 little leaves in that kind of space. It's really just the beginning of that one. Oh, I, I love the safety pins. It's 9,000 safety pins all chain linked together. But the really funny thing about it was about three weeks before myself and Phil Fisk were due to shoot that wig, I took to it with a pair of pliers. I called him up and said, mate, we're gonna have to put it off. I'm going to gonna tear it apart and put it back together again. The reason I wanted to do it is it had this incredible movement to it already. I thought it can be so much better. If I, if I change the shape of the frame, it's going to make each row of pins just pendulum and kick out that little bit more. Being that I've, I've actually made that one twice, it's got to be my favourite. When you're in a gallery space, it's a lot more open for just the general public to have a look at what you're doing. It, sort of moves me into a completely different area for a hairdresser as well and I enjoy being out of out of the salon environment and going out doing something different associating with different artists different collections so I, I see it going further in, into the arts is where I want it to go it's, it's where I enjoy it most